So, today is my three-year wedding anniversary. Okay. And I can, without a doubt, say that this has been, hands down, the most depressing, Damn. miserable, horrible three years of my life. Whoa. I have literally never been so depressed. I've never hated another person more than I hate the person that I married. Well, I run my ass off and I do everything for everybody in my life. Like me, my kids, him. He goes to work and works enough. That's it. He works. Yeah, his job's hard. Yeah, his hours suck. But he works. That is all he does. I am in a different town because I had to take my kids to their football practice. And I asked him to watch our daughter, and you know what he did? He slept. I hate to say this, but you did it to yourself. You did it to yourself because you chose the guy. You get to choose, that's the crazy part. You get to choose. Do you know how many guys, how many, ah, oh, he's the nice guy, I don't like the nice guy. The nice guy is nice. The nice guy takes care of the house. The nice guy is dependable. The nice guy, you don't have to, oh, I'm so stressed out. No, the nice guy takes care of you. But then again, you shit on the nice guy. So you can, you can be with the bad boy, we can be with the... And then when the guy is exactly what you married, exactly that, you come on TikTok and you start complaining. Why are you complaining? You married him, you chose the dude. Imagine you have, as, as a woman, you have to look hot and you don't even have, you don't even have to be gorgeous. I mean, Maybelline and all of that. You have to be at the gym and you don't even have to go to the gym. Some guys will say like, nah, you don't have to, not for me, baby. You can weigh a hundred pounds. You have to take care of the kids. Three things. These are the three things you have to do. I get it. It's overwhelming. Sometimes it's like, people don't want to help me out, this and that. Like, I've been running companies. I'm running a YouTube channel. I get it. Sometimes you're stressed and sometimes you're just like, how am I going to do all of these things? Multitasking. It's a lot right now. But you chose the guy. You're the coach. I, I really don't understand this with women, right? They're the coach. They, they buy and sell the players. They get the budget. We bought that player, we bought that player, we bought... You, you got everything, you had the budget. Guess what? That's your life now. That's why I'm saying it's very important as a woman that you don't just think with, oh, he looks good, no. Go deeper than that, like, okay, is this, can I rely on this person? If I'm tired, if I'm... You get to date him. You get to date so many guys. So, and still the guys, in her DM right now, please, please I love you, da, 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 please, oh, I'm just, there's, that guy's on the roster. But of course, you look at, I want the 10%, I want that guy. He slept since he got home. What did I do? I did homework. I fed the kids. I took my son to speech. I went to the bank. I paid people to mow my yard because you know, he can't mow the yard anymore. I, um, like I said, made sure homework got done. I got them ready for football. I took them to football. I tried taking care of myself and went on a walk, but you know, when I started realizing I hadn't heard from him, I'm calling and calling and calling and begging for the bare minimum of him to watch our daughter. Excuse my language. I'm just so upset. To watch our daughter to cut up a watermelon and to make dinner. I mean, that is absolutely bare minimum. That is not, that, that's not asking for much. It's, eh, and it's not even today. That's the guy you chose. So are we supposed to feel sorry for you because you chose the wrong guy? Because you had a choice. There's certain, there's certain guys which can't even pick. There's certain guys which, the girl's fat, but you have to take her because there's, no, there's nobody else. She's a fat girl, but I have to pick her because there's nobody. There's no, no one's phoning up my line. 
I look all, I, I got these, these are the two girls which I, I can pick between the fat one and the one with the horrible attitude. I, I, but as a guy, you're just like, okay, yeah, let me, I, let me, let me work, let me come home, my wife is, as a man, we don't get to choose. We get to show ourselves, like, yeah, I got the, I got the packs. That's what we get to do. But honestly, we don't get to choose. So you're gonna go crazy over the fact that you chose that guy. That's the guy you chose. Am I, am, am I totally out of it? Leave it in the comment section. It's not even today. Oh, so then when he realizes that he's almost running out of time and we're gonna be home soon, he's like, oh, I can't because I don't have this. What is up, guys? My name is Yambo Davidson and welcome to my YouTube channel. I've traveled the world and one of the most irritating things are flight delays. I just hate it when my flight gets delayed. That is why we've partnered up with today's video sponsor, AirHelp. AirHelp helps you claim up to 600 euros for every delayed flight. So sign up today and earn up to 600 euros for every delayed flight. The link is in the description. When I was flying from Namibia to Sweden, my flight was delayed. So I used AirHelp actually and they did wonders. So I actually earned 600 euros and I did not have to pay for that flight, which was amazing. Sign up today. So you know what a normal person would do? They'd be like, oh, I don't have that. Let me go get it. But guess what? He has 30 minutes until everybody's going to be home. So he's just like, I'm just not going to do anything. But you married a prick. That's the guy you chose, baby. You chose him! Am I... Have I lost it? Aren't women the ones which get to choose? I've been texting three girls. Two of them are like, ah. One is like, oh. Do you know how many guys that are texting these girls? Their DMs are crazy madness hundreds and hundreds of cvs some cvs she's not even looking through and a girl like this trust me has six guys just waiting on the bench some guys have been wait some guys have been waiting since kindergarten oh just oh and if she just looked his way but she picked she picked the douchebag. I'm just gonna lay now because because I, I waited so long and now I'm mad at myself. Now I'm just not gonna do anything because F it. I am 30 years old and I'm literally begging for the bare minimum every single day. I am a married single mom, that's what I am. Yeah, I don't work, but the amount of weight I carry I have been applying for jobs. I mean, I can tell you right now, the reason women stay in shit relationships is one, because they don't have the means to leave financially, like a house, um, two, the idea of a family. I can tell you why I've stayed, money. It's that simple. I wanted to be a stay at home mom. He used to want me to be a stay at home mom. Now he just doesn't care because he doesn't care about anything. I shouldn't have to wake a 32 year old man up for work. No matter what shift, first, second, third, I shouldn't have to wake him up for work. I shouldn't have to tell him what time to set an alarm if I can't wake him up. I shouldn't have to call or make people go wake him up. I shouldn't tell a grown man that he probably should shower after working all day. I shouldn't have to tell him to brush his teeth. I shouldn't have to tell him to feed his kids while he's taking care of them. I shouldn't have to tell him to watch his kids. I shouldn't have to tell him what to put the kids in when it comes to clothes. I shouldn't have to tell him where the clothes are. He doesn't even know my kids' teachers' names. I shouldn't have to manage his schedule and mine, mm. me and my kids. I shouldn't have to tell him, hey, you need to refill your medicine. Hey, you need a doctor's appointment. Hey, you should probably get your oil changed. Hey, your brakes don't sound good. Not only tell him, but then I have to call and schedule that oil change because will he do it himself? No. Will he call himself? No. I am raising another kid. And so what's gonna happen when I get my job? 
I am going to be doing everything that I'm doing on top of working now. I shouldn't have to. People choose the life that they want. It's what I've noticed. God will give you exactly what you deserve. I'm sitting and I'm filming videos right now. Don't you think that I want to? Don't you guys think that I want to go out? I want to party? I want to go to the club as well. I like clubs. I like going out. I like drinking. <laughs> you guys think that I love sitting and making YouTube videos? Yes, I love that as well. But you choose. You, you have the choice. I look at my life and I say, okay, I can either do something difficult or I can do something easy. If I do something easy, my life is going to be difficult. But if I do something difficult, my life is going to be easy. Pick. I watch people like this on TikTok every single day. They're sitting and complaining. Sitting and complaining and then they start. These are the same people which are commenting as well. Oh, you don't, uh, oh, you don't know. You should uh, stop bullying me. Stop attacking us. What? You came on my YouTube video and you started spewing your garbage and I went in on you. And now I'm bullying you. How does that, how does that even make any sense, guys? Tell me, how does that make any sense? Explain it to me because I don't get it. Oh, my life is bad. Oh, the kids need to... Oh, you chose the guy. He doesn't... Attractive people don't have to do that. It's great if he does that. It's great if he... But then it kicks in. Oh, I have it too good. Let me destroy... Let me go and cheat. Why? Life was good. You were with a good guy. But I'm not really attracted to him. It's, it's what I said before. You choose. You choose. I don't want to have this. When I marry the woman which I'm supposed to spend the rest of my life with, she's vetted. She's, I know like, I know this girl is going to be vetted. Vetted. And just in case, you keep a silver bullet in the chamber. Just in case. Because if she starts acting up, I kick her out, there's the door, and I get a new one. And you, I get to buy a new car. So I win both. I win, I, I get to spend the best years with her. And when she's acting up and doing all of that, I kick her out and get a new car. It's new. It's brand new. I'm not sitting and thinking, oh, I, no. If she is wifey, she's wifey. I'm going to treat her good. But once she starts acting up, I'm not going to take that disrespect. But then again, you could have waited. You could have waited. You could have vetted people more. You could have, okay, this is the guy that I want to spend the rest of my life with. Okay, great. You didn't do that. You didn't vet the guy and now you're living in it. It's great. Like I'm learning. I'm a wise man. I'm learning from the mistakes of others. Just learning, just watching, just oh, okay, hmm, that happened. That's crazy. Oh. Damn. I like saying damn. Damn. You know, I take the mobile and I go like, damn. That it's crazy. Why? Because I'd rather sit here and go like, damn, than be in that. That's her life. Imagine. Tell a grown man if he can and can't buy something because he doesn't know how much money we have because never in his life has he ever downloaded a banking app on his phone. Stop it. Never has he ever looked at a pay stub. Never has he ever even looked at a bill to see what it costs. So yeah, he might make the money, 
but who carries the financial weight? Who carries Stop. the way to budget the money? Who makes the grocery list? Who makes sure we have food so we can eat food? Who makes sure he has this, that, and everything else? When all he gives a shit about is getting high mm. and sleeping. Because you know what? If he's not high, he's not happy. I should not be begging a grown man for the bare minimum. On top of the bare minimum, I shouldn't have to deal with the anger outbursts breaking my shit where my door won't even close putting holes in my walls threatening to kill me in front of my kids damn the list could just go on and on and yeah i know i can leave because trust me. he's a bad boy he's that bad boy that you love he's a he's a bad boy <laughs> he's the he's that, hey that's the bad boy that's what you get from a bad boy ah that's a bad boy. That's a ten percent. That's a ten percent that you signed up for. That's I should have like a cowboy hat. Me, I am leaving, but people can't just walk out and yeah. leave one day when you have kids yeah. and twelve years of life wrapped up together. True. You gotta have a plan. You can't just walk away with nothing. You have to have a plan. My plan is in effect right now, but yeah, I just I just had a rant because I'm just baffled. I just don't want to spend another day like this. And I know I just got to get through a couple more days, a couple more weeks. And then what? My kids lose their dad. When I quit forcing him to be one, when I quit forcing him to help, when I when he when he loses his job because he doesn't wake up himself, like <sighs> I don't even know where I'm going with this. It's just not fair. Um Happy three year anniversary to me. Happy three years of misery. I mean. <laughs> three years. That's just three years. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Like I can say 100%. I know that I'm a good person and I deserve. I'm never going to say like, oh, I don't deserve. No, I deserve the best the best the best of the best like the best the tits gotta be on fleek the ass gotta be on fleek i i deserve the best i want a lamborghini when i go to sleep i want that lamborghini that's what i want and i rather wait i have time i can wait i can i can sit i can sit on the bench i can sit and wait I rather have that because I'm not, I'm not, I'm not doing that. Three years of that, three years. Imagine that's three years. That's like going to college. Three years, that's nothing. You just first year, second year, third year, brah. So this is my prediction when it comes to her. I think within not even a week ah you know the the women in the comment section are gonna gas her now they're gonna leave him he's his you useless da, da, da. you deserve better oh my god be a single mom ah. pushing her off the ledge be a single mom be, oh my god it's, life is so much better yeah come over here yeah, come over here pushing her and when she falls off she's going to start crying she makes a video, but oh, I shouldn't have left my husband. He's so. And they repeat the cycle over and over, over and over. But that's what I love about us. Us men, you know, we we look out for each other. Say, hey, hey guys, hey, there's a hole over there. There's a hole. Don't jump into that hole. Oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, there's a hole, there's a hole, there's a hole. Women, they don't. They won't tell you jack shit. They couldn't be in the hole. Come in, it's, it's nice here. And then when you come in, bro, you're getting, the, the streets can have you. That's what I would say, but it's crazy. I have no sympathy for her because she chose her life. That's just how it is. You got to choose, three years, you got to choose. You have your kids now, hey, that's the, that's the man that you chose. 
But anyway, guys, leave it in the comment section, like, comment, and share, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.